Ladies and gentlemen, this is my firm belief. The world economy is really screwed up right now, and world economists say there's only one way for the world economy to straighten out, and that's for the United States economy to straighten out. The United States economists say there's only one way for our economy to straighten out. That's for housing to come back. So that means if you extrapolate it out, in order for the world economy to come back, we have to bring it back as realtors. So I want you to do this just for a second. I want you to look at the person to the left of you and look to the person to the right of you and know that the world economy depends on them. Now, I know that's funny, it's also true. See, because ladies and gentlemen, for this thing to turn around, it's on us. There's no one else that's on. In order for this to go the right way, we have to get back to work if we haven't been working. We have to work harder if we have been working. We have to roll up our sleeves and get the things done right now. Now that might seem like a daunting task. I know when you signed up for your original classes, you weren't really looking to save the world. But guess what? That's where we are right now. But understand that this thing came apart one house at a time. How is it going to go back together? One house at a time. If all million of us sold one extra house this month, everything would be fine. We'd have universal health care, education, any apple in that basket we would be able to do. So I don't want you to worry about a million houses being sold. I want you to pick the house this month that you're going to sell as the extra house, because that's what we need. There were three major surveys done within the last 60 days, one by Century 21, one by Harris, and one by Pew. The first two talked about it's a between 70 and 75 percent. I don't want to waste your time with every single survey. Between 70 and 75 percent said it was either a good or a very good time to buy a home. Let's take a look at the Pew Research Center survey. Same uh, result. 75% of the people in the world, in the country, believe it was a good or a very good time to buy a home. That means when you walk out of here today, three out of four people you bump into think it's the right time to buy your product. Three out of four. And the interesting thing, for the people in the back, I'll help you with that little gray box, which is a direct screen capture from the report. The higher the education, the greater that number. The higher the income, the greater that number. For college graduates, 88%, almost 9 out of 10, believe now is a good or a great time to buy a home. Your clients, people making over $100,000 a year in income, 9 out of 10, 88%, believe now is either a good or a great time to buy a home. So what we're seeing is what's taking place in the market right now is changing people's opinion. And he sat at my dining room table with his parents and one of his sisters, who I'm very, very good friends with. And he explained to me that the reason he had this drive to be in the military was in the country they left, both his mother and father had very successful businesses that were taken from them. Their economy, their government wasn't strong enough to protect entrepreneurs. Everything they built over years and years of hot sweat and toil and blood was ripped out of their hands. His parents didn't want that to happen to their children, so they moved them here. And Carlos knew as his two sisters and his brother were building very successful businesses here, that he never wanted to see anyone in his family go through that again. And he knew that in this country, as long as what we stood for was defended, that would never happen to his brothers, his brother and his sisters. So he joined the military story doesn't end there. He's overseas, not in Iraq. He's in a practice, set, not a practice session. What do they call it when they send you out? You know, which, not a mission. It's, it, it was like make-believe mission. What do they call that? I forget the word. Of it. A maneuver. He's on a maneuver. And the goal of this maneuver 
was he had to get like the red flag and bring it back to his camp. Now he knew, ladies and gentlemen, because they were losing live, using live ammo, that there was some risk to it, but it was a maneuver. He got shot through the neck. Accident. An inch one way, he would have been dead. An inch the other way, he never would have been able to speak again. But thank God the bullet cleared. But the remain, a truly amazing part of the story was he didn't cry out or anything like that. He finished the maneuver and his team got the flag. And when the commanders in his session grabbed him afterwards and rushed him to the hospital, they said, this was a maneuver. Why didn't you call a timeout? Why didn't you yell out? You were shot. He said, listen, I know what you're training us for. In the not too distant future, we're going to be in the mountains of Pakistan or Afghanistan. And if that same thing happened there, there would be no timeouts. And if I yelled out, yelled out, my whole, my whole crew would be dead. So I finished the mission, and then I worried about myself. 19 years old, but with a calling. Now ladies and gentlemen, I'm asking you to go to war at this economy. I'm asking you to sit in front of your homeowners over the next 48 hours and make sure that they understand what I explained to you today. That's not going to be easy. Matter of fact, it's going to be very difficult. But in all probability, most of them will not shoot at you. <laughs> and this is what I want you to remember as I leave the stage today. This one thing. I had a great pop. An unbelievable man. I've never said this in any other place I've been, but Michael reminds me of him. Just a super person. And he used to tell me that whatever talent you have is God's gift to you. Whatever you do with it is your gift back to God. Let's take a look at Carlos for a second. Kind of massage that. See, because there are young men and women, and some old men and women around the world right now, that are risking their lives every day to make sure we can get up and go to work and do whatever we want to do. I think, that's our, I think that's their gift to us. I think the only way to honor that gift is to get up and go to work and work hard every day. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time.